dear student here we discuss about the zeros of a polynomial let's see a polynomial in x is usually denoted by p x q x f x etc given a polynomial p x by substituting a value a for x in the polynomial we obtain the value of the polynomial at x is equal to a we denote it by the symbol p a tap the button to understand this better with an example fill in the blanks with the correct values Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. A zero of a polynomial px is the value a at which p a is equal to zero. This number a can also be called a root of the equation px is equal to zero. Let's look at an example. The polynomial x minus three becomes zero when we substitute x is equal to three. Therefore, the zero of the polynomial is three. Let a x plus b be a linear polynomial. Then the zero of the polynomial is the value of the variable x for which a x plus b is equal to zero. Solving for x, we get x is equal to negative b by a. Therefore, negative b by a is the only zero of the linear polynomial. So, we can conclude that a linear polynomial in one variable has a unique zero. A constant polynomial, that is, a polynomial consisting of just a real number, has no zero. The zero polynomial has an infinite number of zeros because any real number or numbers can be called its zero or zeros. Tap the button to understand this better with an example. A quadratic polynomial can have at the most two zeros. A cubic polynomial can have at the most three zeros. The general rule is that an nth degree polynomial can have at the most n zeros. Tap the buttons to understand this better with more examples.
choose the correct option. Choose the correct option. Choose the correct option. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Fill in the blanks with the correct values. Let's summarize what we have learned in this topic.